This here is an anarchy moment by me, the great one himself, Cynical Libertarian Society, C-Y-N-L-I-B-S-S-C.com on the interwebs. God, dog spelled backwards, God, G-O-D, at C-Y-N-L-I-B-S-S-C.com for the emails. It's not really about anarchy, though. I'm back on reading the book, Being Wrong, which I, I talked about in some previous episodes a while back. I had started it, got distracted, holidays and work and all this other shit. So I'm back to that. And in the near future, <clears throat> here comes another promise. We'll see if I keep this one. In the near future, I'm going to do some podcast about that, reading some stuff and discussing it. Really interesting shit. I got a bunch of cool stuff lined up. It's As always, it's a matter of me fucking getting to this stuff. Work-wise, I'm still getting slammed right now with lots of stuff, which is good because it means I'm creating value for other people and making money instead of sitting around waiting for a welfare check. But here's the point of today's anarchy moment that has nothing to do with anarchy. It's mostly just me ranting. Old people. And for those of you new to the show, when I say old people, I don't necessarily mean people who have orbited the sun a large number of times. I don't mean old necessarily in the sense of age. I mean old as in understanding of the universe. Understanding the way around you. Being flexible. Being able to change. Interpersonal skills. Old people, would you please just die and get out of the way and stop bothering those of us who are not old? So one of my jobs, because I have many of them, <laughs> there's this fucking salesman. All right, it's the year 2015 now. Are we not up on the fact that high pressure sales doesn't work? Like the fact that you call me every fucking day, like every fucking day for the last three days, calling emailing. Bye, bye. Here's what we've got. Bye. It's like, dude, I sent him this email. I said, look, we need power cables. They have to be this particular length. They have to be this particular amperage. And they have to be this particular fucking color. And he, well, and he says, well, we have them in blue. It's like, I don't fucking want blue. I want black. If you don't have black, I'm not buying anything from you. And he keeps sending, we have blue ones. It's like, God damn it. And his emails are typed in all capital letters. The entire fucking email is in all capital letters. It's the year 2000 fucking 15. If you're still typing emails in all capital letters, you need to die so that some young people can take over your job and do it better than you. Okay? Because as much as I make fun of the medicated generation, that's people under the age of 30 for those of you who don't know my lingo, as much as I make fun of kids these days and their fucking texting and their short attention spans and everything, at least they understand you don't write a fucking email in all capital letters. Folks, high pressure sales techniques might have worked in... I don't know when they ever worked, but they have never worked in my lifetime. And sending me fucking multiple emails telling me you don't have what I want, but you've got this other thing which I've already told you I don't want to fucking buy is not going to help. And I don't know why you old people... Actually, I do know why you old people still have jobs. It's because you didn't save any fucking money for your retirement. This guy is probably like 713 years old. And he hasn't fucking retired because he doesn't have any goddamn money because he didn't save any fucking money when he was younger. And so now, this guy's going to be in the workforce until the day he finally keels over from a heart attack, probably from fucking banging on the keyboard typing out all capital letters.
Natural selection is a wonderful thing. We need more of it.